Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, 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 please, 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 please. So a couple days ago, I made a video on this like advanced kill brick, which like set you on fire, then like exploded you, doxed you, killed you, whatever. And I kept getting comments from people being like, oh bro, imagine how like funny it would be if someone were to make like like an obby perhaps using this kill brick. And yeah, I mean like, bro, you clicked for the obby. I, I don't know what else you were expecting. The thing I'm quickly gonna do actually is I'm just gonna remake the kill brick and you're gonna stay here and watch. Do you know why? Even if you saw my old video, okay? Even if you were like, oh, but bite blocks, I, I, I saw you do the, the other kill brick, so I don't, I don't need to do this. Listen, this will be a modified version, okay? Because now, because we're making an obby, it makes no sense to have the- Because because before, what, what I did last time was, like, the player would step on the kill brick, and then they would, like, be on fire for, like, a second, and then die, which was kind of boring. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna explode you, kick you, and dox you all at the same time. And I'll just do the basic script dot parent dot touch, okay? Dot parent being the part dot touched meaning when the part is touched not not in that way but like when you know when collisions happen and then we're going to connect it to a function okay and then we actually get the other part which um came in contact with our kill brick and then we just got to check if this part belongs to a player okay so i'll say if other part dot parent find first child humanoid okay meaning if this parent has a humanoid then it's a character okay then what we can do is we can just say local car is equal to other part dot parent and then local player is equal to game dot players I think it's a get player from character and then we, we yeah we, then we give the character this is a dumb function bro i don't know why they had to make it this long and now all we gotta do is just explode the player and then like uh kick them and dox them but you know that's for later so literally local xp is equal to instance.new explosion okay this should be very simple if you cannot understand this bro i'm sorry bro y you're you're done for and so after i give it like the type of item that i want to create i can actually give it the instance that i want this new item to be parented to and look okay i understand i've been getting comments of people being like oh you, sh you shouldn't use this because of the bad for performance performance bro i do not care okay i oh i'm gonna save two frames bro i i really don't care we're gonna parent it to the player's character okay but the thing here is that if you parent an explosion to something it's not actually going to be positioned at like that thing right so we're going to need to say explosion dot position is equal to character and then we can just wait for their humanoid root part which is a part that every character has dot position okay then we just need to get the player's current location okay so we can say local lock for location okay and look i understand these are very like short variable names i saw a comment which was like oh bite blocks is allergic to making variable names longer than four characters which isn't true bro other part has more than four characters so destroyed okay the way we get the player's location is we just do game dot localization service get country region for player async and then we just give it the player and then just so we know that this works we can actually print out the locations that we see it in the you know output thingy and the last thing we do is we'll just say um player kick okay with a message of lamau and so if i were to touch this kill break right now yes there we go so it's leaking me right now or not leaking my, my leaking my address bro it's leaking my address and yeah so i'm not seeing like the kick window for some reason but like it's saying that it kicked me so like i'll take its word for it you know what actually would be funny the old kill brick what it used to do is it would like broadcast your location to everyone which was pretty cool it was pretty fun right <laughs> something i think we could do you live in luck that is such a cool message dude you live in ca like imagine stepping on a brick and getting that absolute peak and so what i'll do quickly is i'll just rename this to kill brick okay and then i'll rename this to kill brick script original i i know and so now let's actually make like the layout for the obby and voila there we go and i'm so organized that i actually made it into a model look we got the kill bricks spawn location all the all the parts and everything and i mean if we actually try this out like i mean it's not that difficult okay like okay fine yeah maybe this section is a, is a little harder yes okay obviously that was easy my goal is to make this very like unbearably hard now before doing that i actually do want to like reward the player for actually reaching the end right so if, if they reach this ending part which i'll actually call end part like so like i want them to actually you know get something out of it right so i can make it neon like so so what i'm thinking of doing is that whenever a player touches this part then they get like a point and then they get teleported back to the spawn location and that's actually quite simple to do honestly like if i just make a script in the end part and i'll call it guess what end part script okay there yeah you guessed it we can honestly just go ahead and like copy this code of the kill brick okay but instead of obviously you know the whole like killing part and everything we can just take the players um like humanoid root parts dot position is equal to and then we can say workspace wait for child um what was it yeah obby and then wait for child spawn location dot position i understand this isn't making any sense for most of you but plus vector three zero five zero 
And so what this should do is that whenever I, yeah, there we go. So it's going to teleport me five studs above the spawn location. And I remember mentioning that I wanted them to have like score or something. So what we could also do is we could say game dot players dot player added. And, you know, we'll connect that to a function. It gives us the player, blah, blah, blah. And then if you want to add something like a score. So you know how like Roblox games have like leaderboards and everything where like you can see the players like cash wins or I don't know, whatever the game has. That's actually quite simple to do. All you do is you just say local, you can name it whatever you want, but I'll call it leader stats. It's going to be a folder. So instance.new folder. And then this folder, leader stats, it's, it has to be named leader stats exactly like this okay so all lowercase just leader stats and then inside of this folder you have to put whatever values you want right so if i want to make a value of score that's probably going to be a number so i can do local score is equal to instance dot new int value and then i'll give it the name of i don't know score like you know we're not being too original here and then i'll parent it to the leader stats folder and then the last thing i'll do is i'll just say leader stats dot parent is equal to yeah the player so now whenever a player touches the end part we can just say um player wait for child leader stats wait for child score dot value plus equals one like so yeah so as you can see i'm in the game right now and it shows my score and then if i go here it gives me a score of two. Oh, you know you know why because both of my feet touch the part that's so stupid now nah, actually you know what you know what this hobby is meant to be stupid, so I'm keeping that, okay? I'm keeping that. All right, so this hobby actually is coming along fairly nicely. Like, you know, we got the kill bricks and everything. We got, like, this section. We have the actual end goal for the players. And you know, you know what actually would be quite funny? What if I were to take every single, like, part in the middle, like, besides the kill brick, and just give it, like, a 1 out of 10 chance of, like, being not collidable? Dude, that actually be so funny. Uh, what, I, what I'd have to do, actually, probably is name this part to be, um start part because i do want like the start part to be collidable right but basically anything that has the name part will have a 10 percent chance of just having collision turned off and we can do this by just giving the obby a script like so which i'll just call obby script this is where we're gonna work our magic and so you know what we could do how about this how about it happens every five seconds so every five seconds like the parts switch up so i will say while uh task.waits five which basically means that every five seconds we're gonna do something and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through like this model, right? So we're going to loop through all of the items. And then we're just going to check if the item has a name called part, then we're going to do our, you know, our thing. So I'll say for I comma V in script dot parents get children do. In case you don't know, I is just the amount of times we've looped. V is going to be equal to the actual item that we're looping through right now. And then script.parent get children is basically like, you know, script.parent being the model. And then get children will just give us the list of all of the like items inside of the obby. And then I can say if v.name is equal to part and v is a base part so the very first thing i want to do is just reset the parts okay so like if a part is already like not collidable i want to make it collidable again right so i'll say v dot can collide is equal to true and then v dot um, transparency is equal to zero because i'm thinking also when a part becomes like not collidable we can just change its transparency as well and so now all we do is we just say local rand num uh, math dot random one 10. So this will return a random number from 1 to 10. Fairly simple. And then I can just say if rand num is equal to 1, we're going to say v.canCollide is equal to false, and then v.transparency is equal to, I don't know, let's say like 0.8 or something. And the reason I'm doing this like this is because for rand num to be equal to 1, is a 10% chance. So there's a 10% chance of this part being not collidable. And okay, these parts become transparent. That's pretty cool. And then now these parts. That actually is pretty interesting. But you know what? You know what? I feel like actually this isn't chaotic enough. I think we're good on the 10% aspect. However, I think it's changing too slowly. Maybe five seconds is a little too long. So maybe, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is way better. Look at this. Good luck completing the obby now, boys. So now it's time. Let's see if I can beat my own obby. This is unironically so terrifying. My fate is up to luck. Why? The, it, see, it keeps doing this, bro. Ready? Ready? Phew. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. No. All right, the meta is literally to just, to just go through it. Okay, go through it, go through it. Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, 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 yo. Please, 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 please. Yes, yes. Yeah. There we go, boys. See, it's entirely possible, and I have a score of one. Okay, not even two, really. You know what? It's fine. I'll take the one. I'll take the one. And I guarantee you're looking at this right now and being like, "Damn, I really want to play this." Because I won't even lie, that like this actually is pretty fun. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'll go to file, and then I'll publish to Roblox. Byte in 
intriguing hobby. Is that how you spell intriguing? I don't know. I, I don't care. The description will be, um, I dare you to get, um, pass, past this hobby skibbity, okay? We, we gotta add skibbity because then the Roblox knows that our game should be pushed out to millions of players. And you know what's like the very, very last thing this game needs? A developer product. All right, so immediately, I'm thinking we set the price to be equal to, um, I don't know, like 1,000 Robux. And you know how like all of these games have these like dumb products where like you buy it and it just basically allows you to like win the entire game? I'm gonna do the same thing, but there's gonna be a small caveat. There's gonna be a small 5% chance for them to basically not teleport here, but to go through a kill break and then like explode, get doxxed, get kicked and lose everything. But look, I know this isn't what you came here for. So I'm not going to show you the process of me like, you know, making the game pass, making all the, I don't know, the screenshots, uh, I, game icons, whatever. But like you, you know, you watching the video right now, scroll down to the description because I should have a link to this like exact game over here. And you know, obviously you need to buy my $1,000 um, instant win game pass. So yeah, I understand that you absolutely, you know, adore this obby and you think it's the most amazing thing ever. So you should subscribe if you haven't already. If you're like a very smooth brained uh, beginner Roblox, developer and you know you want to just get like more wrinkles in your brain because like my brain is huge bro like it, the amount of wrinkles that it has is like insane then you should scroll down to the description again i know bro look second time i know it's a lot of work and then click on my link tree because all of my good advice is like raw and unedited youtube doesn't seem to like that because everyone's like on youtube shorts these days and everything but yeah with that aside go play the game and buy the game pass now